How's it going YouTube? Stocks by the numbers. Wanted to do a quick update real quick here before the market closed. This stock was trending all day. SEC looking into them. Security laws. Name of the company, Coinbase Global, ticker symbol COIN, listed here on the NASDAQ. Stock right now, 6604, down 11 points on the day, over 14% drop here on this news from the SEC. Market cap still holding at about $15 billion, we'll call it. This was basically where we looked at the company. This is an all chart, by the way. I drew out some trend lines. I'll get to them in a second, but you pull up a six-month chart. See, like right here, like the end of October... See right here, it was at like 66, 67. I believe that's right around the time I did the video. And I said that, see, if we came down here, obviously EPS, very inconsistent, barely beat uh, Q4 of 22, as you see there for in just in the last couple of quarters. But see here quarterly, looking at this revenue, as we saw, 2.5 billion, 1.17 billion, sub 1 billion. 590 million, you know, 629. So last quarter, this company, 629, uh, over estimates of 587. So they ended up coming in on a beat on the top and bottom. But again, you know, they're, they're coming off of tra trash, excuse me, and coming off of basically a massive decline quarter over quarter. So to see a little jump from 590 to 629 million, in, in my opinion, really isn't a big jump. I mean, I guess good for them that they beat estimates, but. Also, at the same time, you know, it's like a 5% increase from 590 million when at a time you were doing, uh, you know, four and a half, five times that revenue just in a quarter. And if you switch over here annually, now you can see, right, they had the massive jump in 2021. And this is what we were looking at. We didn't have the full 2022, <clears throat> excuse me, we didn't have the full 2022 graphic the last time we looked at the stock, right? So we saw annual revenue 7.84 billion. Market cap at the time was like 15 billion, so that's why I was saying, oh, it could back, it could pull back maybe into like the 50s or potentially even the 40s. And the stock, if you recall here, uh, you know, pulled back and hit lows all the way down into the 30s, right? Because now we switch over to uh, 22 and look what they did for the year: negative net income all of a sudden, coming off of three years of positive income. Actually, no, that was slightly negative. The graphic, the graphic is showing me looks like positive, doesn't it? But anyway, all right, so, you know, crawling out, boom, they go net income positive, they have a breakout explosive year, all that pandemic and stimulus money goes into their platform, and then what happens? Everyone loses their shirt, which is basically how it's designed, and now Coinbase is making less money in commissions and transaction fees because people are running less trades because they have less money and they probably said, ah, oh, screw it, whatever, I'll come back to it in a few years or whatever. Revenue dropping from $7.84 billion to $3.19 billion. So, you know, overall for the year, that's why I can understand why they took this down to new lows. So again, we were right here and it popped up into the 70s, of course, right after I made the video. But then you can see the massive decline going into earnings and then earnings came out Big miss on the top and bottom lines. They pulled it back to the mid 40s, bounced it back up, and then brought it down sub 40, all the way down to, uh, you know, look at this. What was this low here? 31, 31 and a half, basically. So, kind of got that one right. They did rally it back up again. I know Bitcoin was moving, so companies like Coinbase did move, and then they did come in with the beat here on earnings. So, I'm not upset that the stock went back up. But with this news today, I just wanted to do a quick overview of the company just in case any of you guys are holding it or considering taking a position. And look here, if we draw, this is since uh, inception here, IPO. So if we, I just drew random, you know, trend lines just across the top from this peak. I brought it down to that top, as you can see, the lows across the lows. And then, you know, these bottoms, I, I drew one trend line from each one up. And as you can see, look at this, right? We always talk about our patterns here. And you can see, again, this top trend line coming in from now this new base support. And you can see that it looks like we're forming a long-term symmetrical triangle. And it's funny because the apex of this triangle is right here in line with these earnings coming out up here in May. So this earnings report in May is really going to be a telltale sign for uh, Coinbase. If they can regain some revenue, you know, and jump from uh, 600 something million Estimates are like 652 million right here. So if they can jump up to like 780, 800 million, you don't come back with like a really healthy quarter, uh, posting some some beefy revenue numbers. 
they could potentially break up bullish out of this triangle and the way the stock moves you know it's probably going to reclaim like a level here or potentially this gap down right here you see that so it may go back up to like the low 100s as soon as it breaks out here but i do think it's going to bounce around keep an eye on these trend lines and of course you have the fib levels even if we look today well you can see on the, on the one day chart it's bouncing around the fibs but I just wanted to show you, here we go, if we pull up a one month chart, you can see, look, this is where it was, and then it dropped down today, and look at the low, see at the top, again, you have the O, the H, the L, the C, again, that's the open, the high, the low, the close of the day, and um, you can see, I'm sorry, of the uh, candle, and you can see that the low, 61.51, so it hit 61.51, looks like the FIB is like 61.70 something, so it was right below that fib and then immediately regained the fib and bounced off the fib and you can see bouncing around the other fibs but maintaining that level so that was the low they wanted to take it to today it was 61 and a half obviously as you can tell and then it bounced off of that but overall i do feel it will most likely stay in this tight range and um it does have the potential uh, potential again to break that 61.75 fib and come back down into the high mid 50s here and could even break and go to the bottom of the, because remember, this is our top trend line. This is potentially our bottom trend line here in the symmetrical triangle. So if it does break this line, obviously it could pull back. And as you see, this is, we're talking, you know, low mid forties, potentially it can come down to, I don't think that that's going to happen that quick. So it'll most likely bounce around and maybe like around here, what are we looking at? Middle of April, maybe three weeks from today, you could potentially step back in and get shares at around $50. But again, overall, I do think that it's it's still overvalued because the market cap hasn't changed much even after this drop today and i don't know if they should bring it back down to 30 dollars a share again but you know to bring this down to, you know to see the stock at you know 50 or, or 46 instead of 66 and change that that would be justified in my opinion that would be extremely realistic especially looking at the numbers that we looked at but again potential symmetrical triangle which isn't definitive of a bullish or a bearish trend so you have to wait for the breakup or the breakdown to determine where the stock is really going to go. But again, it's all going to be based on these earnings coming up in May for Coinbase. So I don't know how popular the stock is or how many people were involved, but I just saw it trending today and I remember, uh, you know, talking about it. So I was curious to come back, look at the numbers and, you know, see a couple of earnings reports since I first looked at it. So there you go. I'll throw this on the uh, how'd I do let's review playlist for you guys. But once again, this is Stocks by the Numbers. I'll end it there. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, please. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Moving forward, I wish everyone success. I hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.